All right, so you're gonna come into your basic stance. Bring your feet about hip width apart. Let's spread out through the toes. I can barely hear myself, so I'm just gonna turn that down a little bit. <laughs> Spreading out through your toes, relax and release through the feet and the ankles. Bend to your knees, pick up a nice bend to your knees. Keep that bend to your knees throughout. Coming up, relax through upper legs, tuck your hips in neutral. So you're bringing the tailbone down towards the ground using pelvic floor muscles. Relax your back, bring that elevation through the rib cage just an inch or two. Bring the shoulders forward, up, slide your shoulder blades together and slide them down your back. And we're going to bring this chin into alignment, crown of the head comes to the sky, tailbone to the ground, take a deep breath in. Expand the belly with the breath, your chest and raising collarbones and as you breathe out, leaving lots of room for fresh oxygen, deep breath in. I'm breathing out and this time we're going to pick up a gentle march. So we're going to Pick up that gentle march, the footing, landing lightly, one foot and then the other. You're landing on your whole foot and with each repetition, you can gradually pick up the knees. A little bit. <laughs> I love the movement in these trousers. Can't help but catch a sight of myself doing that. <laughs> Woo! Getting the shoulders moving, elbows, everybody is looking really good with that. Whee! We're encouraging blood flow throughout your entire system. <laughs> Bring it into center here. We're going to work with a glute squeeze. So you're going to squeeze one set of gluteals and then the other. And at the same time as that, you can use this clenching of fists. So you're going to squeeze, 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 squeeze. Yeah, nice to get moving, isn't it? Try a little bit faster. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And that clenching of the fist action, as soon as we begin to pick this up overhead, as soon as you raise your hands up overhead, you increase your heart rate. And also, you boost your circulation. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Let's bring it down with this finger symbol pattern. So you're pressing your thumb and your middle finger together like this. Whoa! <laughs> nice. Bring it all the way down. Pick it up. Oh. <laughs> Monday night, Jimmy's. You can do that with a bounce, or you can do that flat on the floor. Make sure you maintain a bend for your elbows and a bend for your knees. Three. Four, three, two, and bring it down. Four, three, two, woohoo! You can allow your arms to release and just swing out your shoulders. Relax. Back to basic march. Nice. This next combo, you're going to either do this on the spot or walking forwards and back. Walk forwards to me and then back. Or you can do it on the spot like a thing. One, two, three. So you're stepping. Step, 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 tap, step, 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 tap, step, 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 tap, step, 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 tap. Woo! Yeah! Four, three, two, one. Option if you want to, you can add the shoulders. Bring one shoulder forward and one back. Try to keep the shoulders low. They will want to creep up like this. Keep it low. So you got one forwards and back. One, two, three. 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 Option one, two, three. Back, two, three. <laughs> Back to three. Option here with a bounce. I'll let you choose. Woo! Bring it to center here. Basic march. Picking up the knees. Take the hands high. Bring them down. Cross them in front once more. Hold them here. Woo! Three. Oh, 
feel so gay. Bring it back, then. <laughs> when we're gonna slide now, you're gonna slide your hip out one side and then the other. Start with that basic movement. You can elevate your hands up to the side if you like. And then, instead of having your elbows down towards the ground, try putting your elbows towards the back wall. In behind you, elbows face behind you. Relax your shoulders, bring your shoulder blades together, slide them down your back. Nice. We can anchor through the low half and slide through the upper half. So you're gonna feel this really lengthen through your waist. On one side you're lengthening, on the other side you're strengthening. Whatever's happening on one side of the body, on the other side the opposite is happening. The low energy all the way through. We go back into center, basic march. One, two, three, four, four, three, two. Can we go out to one, two, three, four, four, three, two? Pick it up. One, two, three, four, four, three, two. Woohoo! One, two, three, four, four, three, two. Hands down. One, two, three, four, four, three. Take it low. Woo! <laughs> nice, walk forward, one, two, three, clap, bring it back, two, three, you can have shoulder shimmy if you want to, and a bounce, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, back, two, three, center, facing Mars, <laughs> wow, four, three, two, now let's work with the slide, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, anchor through your low half, use your calf muscles, your thighs, pelvic floor, and move through your rib cage, you bring the arms up, come into Turkish temple pose as you cross your hands over, if you want to, you can do that slide of head, Maybe not for everybody, but if it feels right for you, you can move into there. Bring the hands gently down as you bring the head into center. Wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. Help yourself to some hydration. We're gonna top up with hydration and our body's own energy supply, ATP. Mm. That is nice. All right, let's have a little bit of fun with some circles. We're gonna make a hip out to the one side. Bring it all the way back. Bring the hip out towards the side. Bring it all the way forward. This is really, really lovely movement at any time, but particularly right now, if you've been doing a lot of sitting, or maybe digestive system needs a little bit of extra loving care, these movements are all good for that. A little bit faster if you want to. Slide, bring it back. Slide, bring it forward. Slide, bring it back. Slide, bring it forward. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Option if you would like to. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we make that a bit faster. It's still a complete movement, we just make that a bit faster. Choose your level option that works for you tonight, for your own body tonight, and for your own aim. Just checking my mic box is still attached. Woo! I've been having to do lots of wardrobe adjustments so that we can keep the <laughs> my box on me because you guys have been uh, noticing it coming off and all sorts of things and putting itself on pause with can you hear me hopefully you can hear me <laughs> slide nice anyway up top Lovely. Bring it back down. One, two, three, four, four, three, two. Up top. One, two, three, four, four, three, two. Back down. One, two, three, four, four, three, two. Up top. One, two, three. Are you going to feel that toning and strengthening through your shoulders as well as your arms? Down into hips. And a 
as you slow it down, if you want to, you can stretch into there just that little bit more. Here come the circles. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. From the side. One, two, three, four. So your hips are in neutral, flat low back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Let's slide the other side. Bring it back to the side. Bring it forwards. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Option a bit faster. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Faster. One, two, one, two, one, two. Woo! Feel it? Bring your hands down. Everybody says, oh, yes, thank you. Bring your hands down to frame and four, three, two. We're going to complete this segment with you the other direction. Four, three, two, into center, relax. <laughs> Help yourself to some hydration. I just want to double check, can everybody hear me okay? I know that we maybe had a, yes, good, thank you. Thank you, Jody. I think we had a little bit of a problem with the, oh, it's gone off again. I'm not sure what's happening there. I'm going to keep an eye on it. It's not even Mercury retrograde, is it? <laughs> or is it? Uh, no. <laughs> All right, coming back in. We're going to bend, bring it around. So we're working with a figure of eight. So let's look at what we're doing here. We're going to bend through one knee, push into that movement, bring it all the way round and up. So just like we did with the slight movement we did a moment ago, you're using an element of that slide, but you're also using the mechanics of the knees, the bend of the knee, bend and extend, bring it all the way around. Bend, extend, bend, extend, bend, extend, bend, extend. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. Nice. Option here, one, two, three, four. Or you can stay with that speed that you had. You could work with a fluid arm if you want to, or you could bring your hands into center, into genie pose in center. Whee! And, there you are. Yeah, good. Let's try it up and over. So we're going to try reverse the movement. Bring it all the way down. So you're going to extend some of the way through the knee. Bring the hip all the way around and down. Bring it all the way up. Round and down. So you've got this lengthening happening through your waist. So allow the waist to lengthen. Try to keep your upper half facing forwards. Neutral. Centered. Whee! Here we go. One, two, three, four. Nice. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can have that snaky fluid arm if you want to. Make sure your hips stay neutral. Hips are tucked under. So it's not right here, it's tucked right under. Good. Well done, everybody. Bring it to center. Let's come with a regular slide. You're going to feel that freeing up through your waist now. You should have more range of movement. Let's anchor through the hips. Lovely. We're going to flow into that movement. Wow. Oh, that one always feels really good. You know, allow the head to come with. Ah. Four, three, two, bring it to center here. Woo! 
Nice. Fingers of eight. Here we go. Regular first. So we're bringing the hips down. Nice. I don't know if you had a little shot yet, um, Patreon backers. I don't know if you had a little shot yet of Nikki of Alba Luna, her second Tribal Fusion video, which she did for us. But she did Maya's and Taxim's, which is kind of like pretty much the same movement as what we're doing right now, both of these, but with a Tribal Fusion flavor. It has a Tribal Fusion flavor. Tribal Fusion styling, and you'll find that on the Patreon page at the moment. Whee! You guys have early access to that. And regular? Wow. Nice. Well done. Bring it up and over. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Relax your shoulders and your arms. Wow. If you'd like to heighten the element of stretch and strength that you're obtaining from that, you can lift your hands up. And as your hip comes down, gently raise your rib cage upwards. Raise the rib cage. And that arm and hand just happens to come with it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Wow. Ah, feel that opening through waist. You might feel it opening up through your rib cage as well as it travels that movement all the way up. And that is an upwards traveling movement also. An opportunity to focus on the downwards movement as well. Feel it grounding. Ah, oh, bring it back to slide. <laughs> wow. Let's complete that segment with a circle, really opening up through mid and low back. Woo! Help yourself to some hydration. <laughs> and then we're going to do some amazing shimmies. <laughs> oh. Looking strong, ladies. Looking strong. <laughs> so we're in our basic stance. Set yourself up in there. Ah, we're gonna bend through one knee, then bend through the other. Oh, oh, we got this thing going on here again. And it keeps muting me. Or it's telling me something. It's like one of those Tamagotchi things. I don't know what you need. Here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's giving me a red, flashy light. Maybe it's not enjoying. Maybe it's like, we pop it there and see if it still does it. <laughs> when it drop through one hip, drop through the other. So you're using the bend of your knees to do that. Woo! Drop two, three, four. Drop two, three, four. Try to keep your upper half nice and still and steady. You can do that. Bring your hands into genie pose if you like. And one of the other ways you're doing that is utilizing the waist, that lengthening. Two, one, 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 two, <laughs> it's doing it even when it's sitting down, so uh, it's not that. <laughs> nice, nice shimmies. So this time, as you come into your shimmy, an invitation to focus on your um, connection with the ground. So focusing on that connection with the ground. One, two, three, four. F, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Whoop. One, two, 
Here we go. Whoa, I feel nice. This next one we're about to do. Ah, we're gonna do Moroccan shimmy. Bring your hips and your knees. We're gonna slide with a twist through the waist. Bring it center. Twist to the other side. Do center. Twist forward. Center. Twist forward. Here we go. Twist. 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 Make it nice and soft through your knees. And soft, relaxed knees. Four. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. 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 Soft, relaxed knees. You can pick up the speed if you want to. Woohoo! And we're off. Woohoo! Try to keep your upper half nice and still and steady. Aiwa. So the hip is coming forwards and back. Keeping the hips tucked under in neutral enables that movement to be directly forwards and back. If you come out of neutral, your hips gonna come on diagonal. Keep them tucked under, use pelvic floor muscles, and up towards your low abs, mid abs. Definitely an engagement through there. <laughs> Move that bit faster if you want to. Try not to grip onto the ground. I know that's tricky. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> up, up, shoulders. Three. It's kind of nice that we got into like, what is this? A good few weeks in before there actually was any sort of a technical issue. I never thought that would start at the beginning, huh? <laughs> I think I've done it right. I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> Bring it to the center here. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, up top. One, two, three, four. Hip circles. One, two, three, four, four, three. Reverse. Shimmy. This is a basic one. Using the knees. Moroccan. Whoop. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> we still do some hydration. Wow, wow, wow. That was amazing. Where is the mouse? Here it is. Wow. Amazing. So. Ah. Whilst you're enjoying that lovely hydration, <sighs> whatever you're having, I know Isla, if she was on tonight, she'd be cracking a joke about having a gin. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, wow, oh my gosh, that was amazing, how good are we? Very. Uh, Wee! I know, right, amazing. I thought to, for tonight, let's just finish up with a little moment of some omis. So this is a compound movement. So you're using a few movements all together, but you've got that bend action of the knees. Let's do that on one side on the other side. So we did this a moment ago in that hip drop, but this time it's smooth. Okay, and then the other movement that we're doing is this rocking motion of hips. So you're gonna use pelvic floor muscles. One second, message from Jody. <laughs> Maybe my mic is flashing red to match my outfit. I think 
Now, it could be so, because it's not done it before, and I can't actually tell you the last time I wore red, which is really unusual for me, because uh, I went through a phase of wearing red a lot. So what we're doing here then, release the muscles, contract. Release, contract. So you're using pelvic floor muscles, all the muscles from your bum, right the way around towards, just around towards your belly button, or actually you could bring it to just above belly button. You could also visualize the belly button coming up and back on diagonal, up and back, up, back. Nice. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. We're gonna drop one side and tuck. Drop through the other side and tilt. Drop, tuck, drop, tilt, <laughs> drop, tuck, drop. Well done, yes. Drop, tuck, drop. Tilt, drop, tuck, drop, tilt. If we make that movement nice and round and smooth, what you're gonna find is the top of your hips creates this gorgeous rolling circular movement. It's really releasing for your back, particularly your low back, lumbar region, but also throughout your belly and each of your internal organs. As you pull in with that tilt motion, it's soothing for each of your internal organs, your digestive system receiving a boost. <sighs> you can move a little bit faster if you want to. Woo! <laughs> and if you want, you can add in that ripple effect with a little bit of a camel. <laughs> I'll let you decide how much of that camel you would like to add. I might save myself a little bit because we got lots of amazing classes coming up this week and I want to have a little bit in reserve <laughs> in the belly region. Or actually, let's just go nuts. <laughs> Woo, you can bring your shoulders into circles and your rib cage. We're going to have a little bit of fun with uh, shoulders. Um, yeah, and uh, rib cage is the other word I was looking for. Woo! Well, let's try a little bit that the other direction. So we're going to drop the hip, tuck through tummy. If you've forgotten what way you went, maybe go the other way, because usually we go the way that feels most natural first. We're going to drop, tuck, drop, tilt, drop, tuck, drop, tilt, drop, tuck, drop, tilt, drop, tuck, drop, tilt, drop. Tuck, drop, tilt, drop, tuck, drop, tilt. One, two, three, four, four, three, two. Circle. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, 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 one. That was absolutely amazing. Wow, 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 wow. If you'd like to join me for a lovely cool down stretch now, you're so very welcome. Help yourself to a little spot of hydration. Oh man, that was so good, wasn't it? Oh. Let's use this one actually. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on with this, but uh... I'll try fix it during the break between classes. Are y'all joining me for the next one? Well, some of you are. I'm looking forward to that. Wow. This one's so good to get energized. And then it's so nice to have the balance afterwards of just like sinking right down deep. And we can begin that journey right now. Coming into your basic stance. Spread out through your toes. Relax through your feet and your ankles. Sweep relaxation through low legs. Bend through knees. <sighs> Upper legs, release and relax. Your hips returning into neutral. Neutral for you. You can take your hip all one way, take it all the other way, and somewhere in the middle of there is neutral for you tonight. 
nice relaxed legs let's sweep warm positive healing energy all the way through one half of you take a deep breath in and as you breathe out sweeping all the way through the other half all the way through to every single cell breathing deep expanding belly with the breath chest lifts shoulders hello deep breath and then as you release leaving lots of space for fresh oxygen on your next breath in as we breathe out you can roll your arms like branches up towards the sky take a big wide stance through your feet you could dip down through your knees make sure your knees stay behind your toes you're sitting down into that movement as opposed to coming across like this you're sitting down into there nice straight back and the spine is in alignment all the way to the crown of your head if you feel able to and you want to you can bring a gorgeous side stretch all the way through this week we have an amazing gentle and dynamic stretching class on Wednesday morning it's gonna be full of all kinds of really beautiful stretches that leave you feeling restored and replenished and definitely lengthened if you'd like to join me for that you're of course so very welcome you'll find details on the website and also on patreon.com forward slash little Egypt studio as some of you all know already wow it's amazing to have your support guys at this time wow take a deep breath in and to connect in this way <sighs> what a gift full of gratitude hands coming up towards the sky let's come in with this real simple one it's an oldie but a goodie if you're doing it right you're gonna get loads of benefits bring one foot out in front the other foot comes behind you press that back heel into the ground pressing that heel into the ground we're going to extend through that leg as we pick up a lunge through the front make sure the knee is behind the toe then we're going to square the hips towards the same direction as toes facing right in front of you hips in neutral use your pelvic floor muscles to do that and again make sure you've lengthened through that back leg so that's going to give you a gorgeous releasing stretch to the back of that leg there Ah, oh. and potentially if you've picked up enough of a lunge also a releasing stretch to the front of this thigh and in through hip flexor at the front there take a deep breath here bring your hands out to stabilize you and as you breathe out in your own time you can lift that heel and